Hey girls, so um, as you can see I have blush on my cheeks. If you can't see, I'm sorry. I filmed this in multiple spots trying to make you guys see. I don't have any other makeup on except for like some concealer so my face probably looks awful. But um, I just did a tutorial on how to make cream blush. Um, it's got a couple uses in here. I just used an old little case. Um, and I actually really like it. Let me go ahead and show you the... It's got what I think really pretty pigment. It's shimmery and pink and I would buy this as a normal blush color. I love it and it's so easy to make. Um, I actually got my inspiration from uh, Gummy Bear one, two, three maybe? I don't know. Here's the link. I'll put a little like a little little bubble or whatever those things are called. Caption. I'll put a caption right here so you know what her name is. So um, I didn't come up with this idea on my own. I saw her video then I thought I'd kind of do my own take on it. And it's so easy. Household items are all you need to make this. And obviously some blush. And I love it. I hope you can see. But if not, I'm sorry. But so pretty. And if you like this, go ahead and watch the tutorial. I hope you guys like it and enjoy. I'm making weird faces. Okay. All right. So um, it is time to make the cream blush. What you're going to need is a small container, a lotion. I'm just using my Morning Glow Clean and Clear Lotion. It's kind of sparkly, got a little shimmer in it, which I like. Um, you're going to need any old blush. I'm also using a blush powder, which is in Bare Natural by L'Oreal Paris, and my Mineral Fusion, which I dropped and it broke, so it's perfect for this. Also, I'm going to use any old eyeshadows that I don't use, and these are just a couple other options you can use if you don't want to use I don't even know if you want more than one eyeshadow or blush so I'm just gonna dump in all of that blush because once you mix it all up it's less than you actually think it's gonna be more is less guys that's that's the saying for today more is less um, I'm gonna dump in a little bit of the powder not too much because this is gonna be a cream blush and I don't want too much of that shimmery goodness in there then I'm just gonna take my little tool, I don't even know what that is, scrape right down the middle, dump some in, it's kind of a light iridescent shimmery color, and then my pink, I'm gonna dump that in for a little bit of color, some pigment. Then I'm gonna take my purple and my blue and just scrape in whatever's left over because that's gonna add a little bit of iridescence and shimmer and a little bit of a blue undertone. And then I'm gonna take the lotion, I almost sprayed that in my hand there, way to go Clara. Just do several squirts. I believe I did three that first time, and I'll probably end up adding more. And then I'm going to take that thing. It'd probably work better with a toothpick because this was had a soft tip, so it was a little bit harder. And I'm going to mix it all up. Crush the big pieces first so it's not just mixing up clumps. And then start mixing. And just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. Um, it shouldn't take that long and I'm going to add some more squirts because we don't want it to be dry because it is a cream blush so it wants, we want it to be creamy and when we're done it's going to give it that dewy effect which is always so pretty especially in the summer and the spring and we're just going to keep going and it's going to be all nice and done in the end and then just put it in any old compact case or anything like that and I hope you guys liked it. Bye! Just saying if I like the way the blush looks on the Hoping camera. the blush shows up on my face. The blush what looks better from over here. So you can oh, see the it blush on shows up. And I look cute and adorable.